Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Jake Smash here with another Watcher of Realms video. Let's move me up to near the camera. There we go. Phone's open today. We're testing this out. It is 0658, Friday, January the 12th. Whew. Made it to the gym a little late today. Toddler woke up early, had a heck of a time getting him back to sleep, but we made it here. We got it done. Now let's get to work on Watcher of Realms. A dev Q&A was released about three hours ago, so I'm going to run you through this really quick. I've already skimmed ahead so that I don't waste a half an hour of your time. We'll hit the highlights. Let's get to work. So this was questions from December 18th through December 24th, a couple weeks ago. First question, please add Luxembourg as a country next to the name. They say yes. That's awesome. More inclusivity is only a good thing. It'll only help the game grow. Good call. Question two. This one I'm gonna read word for word. Why some of the games, or even yours, we cannot choose the front character? I saw others can choose any three of them. This game just goes straight to fight. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what they're asking. Uh, maybe the your first champion of the game, like Raid, you can choose uh, which starter you want. I'm not exactly sure. If you know what they're referring to, let me know in the comments, I'd appreciate it. They said they're working on the feature. Question three, when doing a hero quest, put a go gather button. Yeah, it's not difficult to go to the raid they're asking for, but ease of use is always a good thing. Four, this is about censorship. It said during the newbies gathering event, they couldn't use the word newbie in chat because it was censored. And I agree, so much is censored in chat in this game. It's ridiculous. I think I said the word that's and it was censored. Uh, maybe I'm wrong about that, but it was something that simple. So get it together, Mouton. And they said they'll work on optimizing it. That might take a while. My idea would be that every item that has an expiration date um, so this person basically purchased Battle Pass, and then it expired shortly thereafter. They didn't have a chance to get all of the rewards, um, and they're very frustrated by it. Now, when you go to the Battle Pass, it does tell you how much time is remaining on it, so this person should have done their due diligence. However, it's easy to miss stuff, and maybe they just started the game, and this is one of the first things they engaged with. Who knows? I wouldn't think that it would be too terribly difficult for Moonton to add a pop-up that says, hey, you know, this thing will expire within seven days or something. Are you sure you want to buy it? Um, so I don't think it's too much to ask. They said they'll consider it. Some work on the guild mechanics would be great. Uh, so, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, this person is basically saying, hey, let's enhance the guild function, which, uh, yeah, I agree. A lot of people agree. And I think Moonton agrees. They've been enhancing uh, ways that you can contribute to the guild, the donations, uh, GVG, the different demon soldiers. They're constantly working on things that enhance guild and ways for people to interact with each other. So they said they're already discussing the feasibility of, of what they said, which is good. Yeah, I think Moonton cares about GVG. I think they know that uh, a social aspect, uh, a positive social aspect is a, a recipe for success in a game like this. Question seven, I can't read it, but it says we'll increase the word count. I think they're asking, say, hey, let us use a thousand characters or maybe it's currently a thousand, I'm not really sure, but they said they'll increase it. Good, let people talk more. Please include another section for current war contributions. We'll consider optimizing it. Yeah, more guild stuff. Something uh, that I can't read. Most rewards have been adjusted. I'm not sure, I'm sorry. Question 10, again, I can't read. Already optimizing it. So if you can read it, they're working on it. Question 11, just noticed that every day if we're lucky, we get additional drops of demon soldiers. So they're like, hey, what do I do with these little shards? Well, go to hit the guild button, go to uh, where your demon soldiers are, and you can upgrade them on the right when you get enough shards. Question 12, GBG teams and deer gear get locked. So uh, they said we aren't considering locking it, and this is kind of, it's kind of a pain, right? Because there's a certain timeline that you need to be aware of if you want to optimally gear out your, your champs for gvg and still be able to use that gear in other content in the game like if you're trying to put your best gear on them so it's kind of a pain to manage so uh i'm not exactly sure what the answer is but making it a little bit more user friendly would be nice brave conquest events they're saying it takes too much energy and they said uh we'll make some adjustments maybe more on event fusions like raid gift points uh, for the, the actual shards that you pull instead of just the champs. So this is cool, they just did this. Uh, they actually added it, right? Like Raid Shadow Legends, you have two separate events depending on whether it's a, a 2x or a 10x banner, right? Uh, so you can get either points for the champs or points for the shards. This, they just added it, it's combined. You get points for the champs and points for the crystals. Only a good thing. 
I have contacted in past regards summoning individual quests. How unreasonable it is. 7,000 points, 15,000 points. And they say, hey, it's not the same for all of them, which is true. It really depends on the event and the tournament. And uh, I, Moonton, I actually think, is pretty savvy with this, how they adjust it based off of the banner that is actually in play in order to try to make it more appealing to either pull more or be a little bit more comfortable pulling less, uh, depending on what the banner is. And uh, I think they're pretty savvy. Question 16, Hero Fusion prompts me that it's available. When I hit cancel, it's still there. And they said, hey, they've already optimized it. Change the drop rates of Nightmare Void Rift to 100% unique artifacts. Allows to auto all stages. So we can auto everything up to Nightmare. We can't auto Nightmare yet, but they said, hey, we're working on it. Awesome. Specific optimizations to enhance uh, the experience of exclusive artifacts. So here's the thing. They did not say that they're going to make that guaranteed, and it's not going to happen. I will tell you right now, it's not going to happen. Can you please implement more epics and viable rares into the game? I agree. Come on, Moonton. Almost every week since this game has come out, it's been legendary, 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 legendary. You have diluted the pool enough, all right? You've done it. You've succeeded. Give us some epics. Give us some rares. Obviously, more legendaries are going to come, but be a little bit more balanced moving forward. And they said they're planning on it. So uh, at what point that is, whether that's this month or four months from now, I don't know. We will find out. A skin for Valeria. They said, yeah, we'll consider adding skins. Skins are fun. People like them. Please stop giving out rare skill crystals and skill and skill dust. And they said, we're optimizing rewards. Uh, yeah, they got to figure out something because it's excessive how much people have. Question 21. This is the big one. This is like the highlight of this dev Q&A. Ajax, they said, hey, he's in the unnamed faction. He can get any Lord bonus. We should be able to use him in any faction trial. And they said, we've noted it and are currently optimizing it and it will appear. What? Great job, Moonton. For anyone that's progressing and happens to pull an Ajax, this will be huge. Good call. Absolutely good call. Something else I can't read. We may consider adding it. Uh, I'm sorry I can't read it. Something else I can't read. Thank you for the suggestion. Similar items will be introduced. Auto fight should be able to run in the background. And they said, hey, it's undergoing final optimizations. We're working on auto battle. Stay tuned, which is great. Make settings to change email bindings. They're currently developing it. Something else I can't read. Exploring the feasibility of skill stone synthesis. So this is kind of in line with the previous question I'm inferring from the answer, right? Where we have uh, too much rare skill stuff. They're probably asking if we can, you know, convert some of them into epics and some of those into legendaries. And they said, hey, we're thinking about it. So maybe. Something else I can't read, but you can switch accounts on the login page. So they're just educating people on, hey, here's the thing that you missed. Something else I can't read. We've noted the issue and are prevent investigating it. Good. Look into stuff. Something else I can't read. Currently account switching via email. So again, just educating people on their questions. Good job. Game is really nice. Uh, only suggestion. Increase the number of auto fights. So I don't know. You can you can get auto battles. Uh, you can get them from the, the black market very, very regularly. And then unless you're buying, you don't have to use auto battles in all content. You can use an auto clicker in AMR. You can use an auto, -clack, auto clicker, excuse me, if you're farming uh, gold or experience. You, you can use an auto clicker if you're doing uh, promotion insignias. You really only need to use your auto battles for gear rate. So um, unless you're buying a bunch of energy, uh, you should have enough auto battles if you're only limiting them to your gear raid attempts. Add auto battle for every fight in Void Rift. Yeah, they already said that, and they said they're developing it for more auto battles, so good. I don't know why Nightmare is excluded. Oh, fastidious. Separate buttons for accessing gears, items. Uh, yeah, optimize how we interact with uh, gear in this game. The fact that we can swap gear around is huge. It's massive. Everyone loves it, but we need a better way to utilize the gear right we need to be able to sort better so they said they're starting to develop it good for them possible to give us a guaranteed drop of an ancient piece after a certain number of runs they said they'll consider it don't believe them it's not going to happen there should be an option to log into the existing account even if you install the game on a new device and they said hey there is education quality of life on the windows client i would love the game to go silent when i start auto battling and they said they're developing it i don't play on windows I can't sit down at a computer, but they're working on it. So if that affects you, something positive to look forward to. Hello, living in Japan, test server ended. Uh, basically, they said, I don't know how to get a hold of people. And they said, look, we have ways to get, to get a hold of us. This is the best way to do it, and we're going to do more in the future. So 
overall, not a whole lot. Uh, biggest highlights to take away. Ajax, used in all faction trials. Great for progression if, you're, if you've got them and you're progressing. Um, auto battling Nightmare, potentially increasing uh, exclusive artifact drops in Nightmare Void Rift. And pretty much everything else was, yeah, we'll work on it. We'll think about it. We'll consider it. You know, standard PR stuff that they got to say and or just educating people on, hey, you missed this. So um, overall, not a whole lot, but uh, I really appreciate that Moonton does this. It's a way to stay engaged. And every once in a while, there's a positive nugget. So if you appreciate what I'm doing here, if you liked this video, please support the channel, like, comment, subscribe, and I will continue to bring you more great Watcher Realms videos at the speed of relevance. Thank you so much for your time. Have a great day.